if it's about negotiating your starting salary, negotiating a relocation fee or negotiating just a, a promotion. Hey, I think I'm worth 10 more percent this year. The price of the dope then went up. What are ways that people can go about that tactfully? So let's put them on parallel paths, because obviously, if you're perfect for the role, then maybe you'd be a little bit more flexible on compensation. And if it's a role that you really would not want to do or the company that isn't what you, where you want to be, maybe they pay you what you're willing to take. But it's not a job that you would want to be at in six months. So okay. I would say, you know, as you're getting to interview, you're also interviewing the company to see if it's a job that or a place that you would thrive. And at the same time, as that process matures, if you've gone a couple rounds, you can say, you know, I'd like to have a conversation about sort of like the value that I bring or, or you know, what this role is and, and compensation, quite frankly, because you don't want to tiptoe around it too much when you get serious about it, when you know that you'd be a good person for the job. And I think they'd respect you. And in New York, right, it also depends on the state. In New York, they're not allowed to ask you what you make, right? They're not allowed to, in California, they're not allowed to ask you what you're currently making. They And they're also not allowed to uh, hide the ball on the salary. So they have to state what the range of the compensation is for the opening under nice. labor law. So you, you're allowed to know those things going into it. And if they say, oh, well, what are you making right now? You can say, I'm not in inclined to discuss that. And you're not really required to. But – there's so many resources now in a job market that's this high. I mean, who knows if the recession takes hold and things change, but there's a lot of headhunters and recruiters and resources online that say what the sort of market is for any particular role. So if you know, you're not fortunate enough to have someone that negotiates that deal on your behalf, the best thing you can do is make yourself as informed as possible. And I'd say be direct about it, know what your value is and communicate that and then state what, what you, what you're looking for and why.